Hello everyone, my name is Dale and today on Inception Gaming we are going to go ahead and tame another one of Ark's creatures and this guide is going to be on the Theomia. So over to the facts and details of the Theomia, the first one of course being is that it is not a dinosaur, uh, this creature is indeed a mammal. The diet of the Theomia is indeed herbivore, uh, which of course means that it's not going to eat meat, it will only eat berries and vegetation. The temperament of the Fiomia means that it is uh, skittish, uh, so you can uh, approach it. It isn't nervous. Uh, you can approach it, but if you attack it, it will not attack you. It is very much like the Parasaur in that it will just quite simply flee from any danger. The Fiomia, similar to most other creatures on the Ark, is indeed tameable, rideable, and breedable. All three checkboxes ticked. With the breeding on this creature though, unlike the other dinosaurs that we've done so far, this guy will actually breed live young and not eggs. The Fiomia, like most of the creatures that we've covered in the guidebook so far, is not torpor immune, and the taming method for this creature is indeed the knockout method. When it comes to taming up the Fiomia, the preferred kibble of choice is going to be your basic kibble. If you don't actually have access to the basic kibble, you are then actually going to want to go down the line of the crops, Failing crops, you're going to want to go down the route of the major berry, and failing the major berry, you're just going to want to have access to standard berries. Hello everyone, did you know that less than 8% of the people who watch my content are actually subscribed? So my current milestone is 1000 subscribers, and if you want to be one of those people that really help out, you can subscribe, it's free, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video guys. So when it comes to taming the Fiomia, you're going to want to make sure that you have a certain amount of items before you get started. The first item that you're going to want to make sure that you have in your inventory ready to go is going to be a bowler. The second item that you're going to want to have for this tame is indeed going to be a club. And the third and final item that you're just going to want to make sure that you guys have in your inventory is a method of taming it in terms of food. And for this one, I'm just going to use major berries. So to get started on taming this guy, you're going to firstly start out by putting your bowler equipped into your hand and you're going to go ahead and throw it at him to immobilize the Fiomia. Shortly after that, you're going to want to switch over to your club and you're going to want to start hitting the Fiomia in the head. Once you've hit it enough times in the head, it will either do one of two things. If it is a low level, similar to my one here, it will fall over and get knocked out. If it is quite a high level, you may need to chase it around a little bit with a couple of extra spare bowlers in your inventory ready just to catch this thing and keep on hitting it to increase its torpidity or its unconscious bar. Once the Fiomia has indeed become unconscious, you can go ahead and access its inventory, slide the major berries into the inventory and he will start munching down on the major berries like a feast. The Fiomia is one of the creatures that is one of the easiest to tame because of how fast it requires food and will always tame up before it wakes up unless it's an incredibly high level Fiomia. I'm going to call him method one and that is the only method that is really required for taming out a Fiomia. Besides using the club, if you're taming out a level 120 or even higher level Fiomia and you're really wanting that high level tame, the only recommendation I would make is switching to slingshots just because of the torpidity increase per shot made. So once you've got your Fiomia, how are you going to ride him? Well, you guys are going to need to craft yourself up a saddle. Head over to the Engrams tab, and it's actually the first saddle that you can unlock in Ark Survival Evolved. As long as you've got six Engram points, go ahead, double click that Engram blueprint, and you can unlock it. If you don't have any Engram points, guys, don't forget, you've just got to level up, and that is how you get Engram points. So crafting the saddle, if we go ahead and type in Fiomia up here, uh, we're going to need 15 fiber, 20 hide, and 5 wood. So if you want to grab yourself some fiber, go ahead, find a bush, and just whack it with your sickle, or just pick it with your hand, and the fiber will go up. To get the wood, go ahead, grab your hatchet, take it to a tree, and you can grab plenty and plenty of wood. And when it comes to the hide, you're going to want to have to kill a creature if you haven't got hide already. We're going to go ahead and kill this carbonemus very quickly. Grab your hatchet, take it to the corpse, and you will harvest the hide that you need for the saddle. So now that you've got those resources, go ahead, find the blueprint again in your inventory and hover over it if you're on PC and press E and that will craft up the saddle. Okay, once you have crafted the saddle guys, go ahead and head over to your tamed up Theomia, access its inventory, click and drag on the saddle into the dinosaur's saddle slot, let go of your mouse and then the saddle will equip onto your newly tamed Theomia. 
When it comes to riding the Fiomia, head on up to it and hold E. As long as the saddle is equipped, you will be able to ride it. And W, A, S, D to obviously move around. A and D don't actually do anything. It's just a forward and backward and looking around kind of motion. To sprint, you can go ahead and hold down the shift key and he will start sprinting. And when it comes to harvesting, the Fiomia cannot actually harvest any berries. But one thing that the Fiomia can harvest is thatch quite nice. So when it comes to the utility of the Fiomia, guys, the one main thing that the Fiomia is used for is indeed uh, it's shit, quite frankly. Um, very good for uh, the likes of fertilizer and crops, as the Fiomia actually takes a shit more often than most other creatures on the island. One thing you can do to speed this process up if you are in dire need of poo for whatever reason is you can force feed the Fiomia stimberries and it will poo like crazy. <laughs> Deary me. A very, very, very quick and efficient way to get a large pile of Fiomia done. And there indeed we have it, guys. The Fiomia Tame Guide ready to go. And you have now got yourself a poo-making machine on your island. So, guys, again, my name is Dale on Inception Gaming. Go ahead and leave a like if you found this helpful. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more guides similar to this one. And do leave a comment if you want to see me doing a guide on the next dinosaur of your choice. But guys, otherwise, my name is Dale once again. Thank you very much for watching until the end of the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.